Hi, I'm John Esdell. I'm a rheumatologist, a professor of medicine at the University of British Columbia, the University of Calgary, and I'm the scientific director at the Arthritis Research Centre of Canada. I'm excited to tell you about a new study that I am leading on hip pain, osteoarthritis, and physical activity, funded by the Canadian Institutes of Health Research. Osteoarthritis is a progressive disease that can affect the hands, the knees, or the hips. It's the most common form of hip arthritis and is responsible for more than 90% of hip replacements. What is exciting about our study is that we will be looking at the cause of hip pain and it's linked to osteoarthritis in a way that has never been done before. The hip joint is a ball and socket joint which is very stable and mobile at the same time. Recently, researchers have discovered a deformity of the hip that causes unnatural friction, leading to a condition with an impossible name, femoroacetabular impingement. That's why we call it FAI. We believe that certain types of physical activity that involve flexing the hip, things such as skiing, skating, jogging, soccer, even cycling, interact with the deformity, causing damage to the hip, which leads to osteoarthritis. A study done at the Arthritis Research Center found that more than a third of young patients who had hip replacements have the deformity. Other studies suggest the deformity is even more common in cases of hip osteoarthritis. What is unique about our study is that we will use Canada's only MRI machine that enables us to view the hip standing up and in motion. With this machine, we can study the positions and activities that cause impingement in people with the deformity. Ultimately, our study will be able to tell how often the deformity occurs in people with hip pain, and if certain types of physical activity cause hip osteoarthritis in people with the deformity. We believe that by studying hip pain, we can determine its cause and prevent hip damage for many. This may open the door to preventing hip osteoarthritis, which means we could potentially avoid hip pain and countless hip replacement surgeries. This is groundbreaking preventative healthcare research that could potentially impact the lives of tens of thousands of Canadians and millions worldwide.